Hey everybody, this is Ms. Levin, and this is the screencast tutorial for the isotopes and atomic mass inquiry activity that you're doing on this asynchronous day. So you can open up um, the Google Doc that is in Google Classroom, and you'll see I also linked the website that you'll be using. It is the vet.colorado uh, website for isotopes and atomic mass. Okay, you can also click directly on this link and voila, you go to it. So when you click on this, you will see that this pops up right here. Okay, so what you're going to do is first select the isotopes on the left hand side. And you should see this default screen come up. And then number two says click on the green plus to expand the symbol and the abundance of nature boxes. Click, click. So it goes from this to looking like this. And we're going to start with the element hydrogen. It asks, what is the abundance in nature of the hydrogen-1 isotope? So it says, my isotope is hydrogen-1, it's stable, and the abundance in nature is this percent right here. So you can write that percentage directly on the line. Now it says, drag one gray neutron into the atom. What is the abundance in nature of this hydrogen-2 isotope? So we're going to take this bucket of neutrons and drag it into the center. And you'll see here is my new percentage. So that's what I would put on the line here. Then it says drag another gray one in. And then what is the percentage of hydrogen three or hydrogen four? And then later on, hydrogen five. Okay, so you're going to do all of those for our element hydrogen. Okay, part number or part number four says to click on the element lithium. So we're going to click on lithium, and you're going to see that this isotope comes up. Drag one gray neutron in, or tell us what the abundance is, then drag one gray neutron in, report that abundance, and then part C says, or step C says, drag two gray neutrons out. Now we're going to have a lithium-6 isotope. So you're going to see what that percentage is and what happens when we have a lithium-5 isotope. Okay, for the fifth part, we're going to take a look at carbon. Okay, carbon has our carbon-12. So this is your turn to explore with your bucket of neutrons over here and change the number of neutrons in the atoms to determine which of the three isotopes for carbon is going to be stable in nature. So you should see that it's a stable or unstable. Okay, this last part should lead you to explaining what the definition of isotope is using mass number, atomic number, number of protons, and number of neutrons. Please don't Google it. Use your own words from what you learned from this um, simulation. Okay, the second part of the simulation is to do the part two mixtures. So you'll see at the bottom of the screen, click on the mixtures tab down here. All right, so we click on that. And you should see for the element hydrogen, drag one purple hydrogen one atom and one green hydrogen two atom into the black rectangle. So I'm gonna drag one of those, and I'm gonna drag one of these. You see it has a 50-50 mix of each, and you can write down what the average atomic mass here, which is located in this box. Then drag three more purple hydrogen one atoms into the black rectangle, repeating what the percent and the average atomic mass is, and then drag the rest of the purple hydrogen one atoms into the black rectangle. Tell me the percent and what the mass is. Then you can check your answer with nature's mix. What changed? So you can describe that and give me the percent and atomic mass in the nature's mix. We're going to investigate boron next. So you can click on boron and it says to drag eight purple boron 10 atoms in and two green boron 11 atoms into the black rectangle, giving the percent and the average atomic mass. And then do the opposite. Drag two purple boron and eight green boron 11 atoms in. Now on the bottom right, under isotope mixture, click on nature's mix. So when you click on nature's mix, 
what is the percent composition of each? Is it more similar to the 8 to 2 or the 2 to 8? And you'll see how we can replicate what we have here in nature. Lastly, you're going to take a look at chlorine 35 and chlorine 37 by clicking on the chlorine atom right here. You're going to drag one of each in, see what the weight gets, and then you want to achieve this weight of 35.4612 AMU. So you have to play with the simulator until you get that actual average atomic mass in the white box listed right here. So what is the percent? Then you can go through nature's mix and figure out which is going to look more, or which is going to be closer, okay? So does the nature mix look similar to the my mix? Y or Y? And then you can explain the difference between my mix and nature's mix. The very last thing I'm asking you to do on this asynchronous day is to test your understanding. You probably don't need this, but you sh can use uh, this part right here and kind of match up these, the corner up here. And you can um, tell me what this would be. Would all these protons, all these neutrons, and all these electrons be a carbon-12, a carbon-14, or an oxygen-14, or more than those? Okay, you have an answer to here in order to figure out what they represent. Um, a question three, a question four, and a question five. So if you're having any trouble, please make sure that you email me or leave a comment in the Google Classroom. I'll do my best to help you out. Good luck and have fun with this. Bye.